Anyhow, Weapon Bar Club. Let's build some palisades. Palisades. I mean this. Let's go, okay. Before my vacation, I made this little thingy here as a test piece, and now I want to have more. So I harvested some XPS and some hazelnut sticks in the garden. If you just make a small cut in XPS, you can break it really nice. Carve some stone texture, really basic old school XPS carving. Make a slits for the wooden sticks and bevel the other side. So you have rocks in the front, the slits in the middle and a beveled edge on the other side. Clean up. Now I'm dry fitting all the pieces so that the wall section, the wooden wall section goes in the same spot. So we have modular connecting pieces. I found out that two or three were not good and I had to rework them a little bit. But that's no problem in this stage. So far, so good. I have a base coat of PVA, tile grout, gray, acrylic color, and uh, rub it on top of the visible side, which is the rock face carved side, and the sides where the pieces will connect. Let's see how large those wooden sticks have to be. So I'm uh, cutting a maximum and a minimum length. I didn't want to show you how I cut up like a lot of those stickies. I decided to make them pointy, but after doing some pieces, I decided against it. <laughs> So we are on to bucket painting. So this is a base coat, ketchup and mustard, batch bucket painting, rubbing the acrylic color into the wood. First coat of black wash on the rock faces. As you can see, the unpainted pieces are lying in the bucket. So if I drip down, there's already some color on it. Also some wash on the wooden sticks that dried outside already on this cardboard piece. So after wash is applied, let's put it back on that cardboard piece, take it outside in the sun and this will dry really fast. There's a little bit much wash on the cardboard, so let's trip that back. While the wooden sticks are drying, second coat of a little bit uh, darker wash on the rock faces. The first one was not dark enough, so let's put some more on it. So here we have plaster PVA gray acrylic color, which is a multifunction paste. <laughs> it's my texture paste on the beveled edge and it's also the glue for the sticks. The paste is drying really slow because of all that PVA in there. Gives me a little time. So while this paste is drying outside, it takes a little bit longer, even in the sun. I'm collecting some dirt. It's a really dry summer, everything is oh, dusty and dry. And uh, the paste is still a little bit wet. So let's put that stuff on there randomly. We have a layer of dirt on there. So here we have a watered down PVA mix and some static grass flock random mix. That's the leftovers from the table. I always collect them in this blue bucket. And I thought for the simplicity of this build, no static grass applicator, just go on there by hand. Giving the rock face and the wood a beige dry brush from top to bottom. Senatal dry brush. <laughs> Yeah, I'm into the sanital stuff right now. I should have let it dry a little bit longer. The static grass is, yeah, getting in my way. But who cares? I don't care. So now everything is really dry and I'm doing a partial, really dark wash in the lower third of the rock face and the lower half of the wooden sticks. The depth of the piece is increased with this technique. No pigment powders this time. 
I set up a little village on the gaming table. All those builds in there are mostly stuff that I built in videos. So go back and check out all those video builds. The mine shaft, the tavern, the pirate docks, some trees, the cottage. Lots of stuff for you to watch. And as always, thank you to my Patreons. Your support means a lot to me. If you want to support me, there are links down below in the description. See ya!